That's not what I just asked. Hey, come on, man. Look, we... I'm not talking. Come on, man. Look. You know what? You stay. I'll leave. Didn't I tell your punk to stay away from my sister? Ain't no lie. Bye, bye, bye. I don't wanna see you out that door, baby. Bye, bye. A Twitter feuds popped off between Stomp the Yard stars Darren Henson and Columbus Short. They went back and forth, trading insults about jealousy and past drama. Well, things are perpetuated when we don't learn the lessons the first time. So they're going to keep showing up. You know, I've had things that happened in my life. I did. I've done things that were correct the wrong way. Darren DeWitt Henson has got to be one of the greatest talents that Hollywood has ever known. <laughs> In terms of acting and choreography, the man just delivers. He's worked on a range of high-profile projects with A-list celebrities, from Michael Jackson to Prince to Jordan Knight, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Enrique Iglesias, and a couple others. Yes. Here's Darren. This is the guy who like came up with all the choreography, all that new big choreography. It's all new. Now you would expect his name to be sung in every corner of the world for his voice, especially with the level of success he's achieved, which is why it was totally surprising when he suddenly disappeared off the face of the earth. If you ever watched an episode of Soul Food, then you'll probably remember Darren DeWitt Henson and his iconic role. You think I ain't see your sitting down the street this morning? Now I'm the big cat, mother But years after the series came to an end, Social media has been going crazy with rumors on what supposedly happened to him. So we decided to go CIA and do a little investigation. And what we found is bound to leave you reeling in shock. But before we tell you all the nitty gritty details, why don't we find out just who Darren DeWitt Henson really is anyway? There's a saying that I have, go through it, to grow through it, so we can ultimately glow through it. I mean, you've got to wonder. Just who is the man behind the camera? Darren Henson was born in Bronx in New York City. And while many would assume that he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, this was far from true. Believe me, when I say he was broke AF, and by broke AF, I mean plain church rat broke. Henson's dad was a horse trainer, while his mom took care of people's homes. Henson developed a love and raw passion for dancing from a young age. I mean, I knew what I wanted to do at five years old. I mean, there was never any mistaking that. I knew I wanted to be an entertainer at five. I graduated high school. I left. I, I traveled a lot. You know, I wanted to learn the world through cultivation firsthand. And for me, that that was the way I wanted to go. I, I couldn't sit down in a classroom for, for eight hours a day for another four years. I wanted to, you know, to participate in the world. While other kids were busy playing the latest video games, Henson was in the backyard perfecting his breakdancing skills and repeating the dancing steps that he had spotted some, some locals doing. You could literally say that Darren hit the jackpot right when he was born. Seven, eight. So it's the same move over again. Let's try that again. He was born in a community where they have a lot of street dances and hot steamy dance battles that were on a whole new level of crazy. And the moment an old man saw him dancing and decided to give him $5, because he was just too good, the boy back then knew what he was going to do for the rest of his life. And he made sure to earn a lot more than $5 doing it. In a door, yeah. I just gotta know. So get this, Henson started making waves back in high school dancing semi-professionally with a New York group, totally ahead of his time, right? But after graduating in 1988, he ditched them for a breakdancing gig with Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus. I mean, talk about upgrading your resume. But that was just the start. By the time the 90s hit, he was all about showing off his unique dance style in music videos. You know you've made it when you're in Salt and Peepa's iconic What a Man video. And get this, 
he credits Michael Jackson for giving him his first moves. He literally said he practiced MJ steps in front of his bedroom mirror. But hey, let's be honest, we're all guilty of the same thing. All the MGM musicals, I had Jerome Robbins, I had the Jacksons, I had, um, you know, the Nicholas Brothers, I had Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire, I had James Brown, um, I had movies like Saturday Night Fever, all to learn from. But here's the tea. Henson wasn't satisfied just being in the background. He thought he could choreograph better than anyone else, so he did. Stars like Deborah Cox and Prince, yes, Prince, started hitting him up for his moves. By the late 90s, he had his own dance company, Dance and Entertainment Workshop, where he was mentoring and shaping the next big talents. Six and seven and eight, turn one. And soon, megastars like Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, and Jennifer Lopez were practically lining up for his skills. But wait, it gets juicier. Choreography just wasn't enough for him. So naturally, he decided to give acting a shot. He snagged roles in shows like ABC's NYPD Blue. Close the door. What, are you gonna take this conversation? But it wasn't until he landed a spot on Soul Food in 2000 that people really started to recognize him. Thank you, I'm really- What the f uh, What I think? Hey, Bert, what are you we, doing We here? were just talking, okay? Then, in the same year, Henson won Best Choreographer at the MTV Video Awards for NSYNC's iconic Bye 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 Dance. And people literally couldn't believe their eyes when they saw the same guy who was rocking a pole on TV take the stage with the band. Most recently, Darren DeWitt Henson made headlines for his Twitter fight with Columbus Short and Boy Was It Wild. Now, if you never knew, you should probably know that one of the movies where Darren DeWitt Henson showcased his remarkable talent is Stomp the Yard. And guess who he happened to work with? It's none other than Columbus Short. But Twitter went nuts when the two men who shared smiles on camera decided to start World War III. It all came to a head when Columbus Short came under fire for hitting his wife. Short was hit with a restraining order way faster than you could say, stop. He was also faced with the possibility of spending over a year in jail. When I'm sitting in the bottom of LA County Jail and I'm like, well, how am I here? It's no surprise that he was instantly added to everyone's most hated list afterward. That was the very same reason why Darren didn't just criticize Columbus Short for his actions. He also implied that he regretted collaborating with him on Stomp the Yard. Darren DeWitt Henson definitely stomped out any friendship he had with Christopher Columbus by saying, although people love Stomp the Yard, it was a sore thumb for me. I got called the bad guy every day. Well, who's the bad guy now? Short didn't waste any time in responding to Columbus tweets by using a few choice hashtags of his own, but he didn't just stop at this. He went on to say, hey, Amerdin, next time you pull up on me and you, 92 was, I hear SLM Mercedes trying to sell me bootleg, a state property DVDs, I'll buy two. Now we don't really know what caused the exchange between the duo, but whatever it is, it must have been something serious. Fast forward to today, and Darren DeWitt Henson is now in a much better place than he used to be. Yeah, like what else do you do after all of your dreams come true? You create new dreams. From being a broke kid in the Bronx, earning $5 for a show, to having a mind-blowing net worth of $10 million. What's a better definition for growth? Darren DeWitt Henson's acting career has also been on a high note lately. His performance in The Chocolate City and BET's The Family Business. This comes as a great surprise, but I want to thank each and every one of you for being here and celebrating with us. Gained a lot of positive attention from fans and critics alike, and he's set to return to his role as Orlando Bloom this year. 
My name isn't Mr. Orlando. Oh, I'm sorry, I was told. It's just Orlando, no Mr. Required. But you've just got to wonder, how did a dancer with absolutely no experience in acting suddenly become a world-class actor? And let's not forget the part where he's received numerous awards and recognitions for it. Well, it turns out that Henson had a lot of practice. And if you're thinking they came in form of super expensive acting classes in air-conditioned rooms, you'd better think twice. It turns out that Darren Henson decided to take private tutorials while embodying the personality of each character he was trying to play. While Darren Henson hasn't shied away from letting the public know of his early life and motivations, one thing remains hidden. His relationships. If there's one thing Darren Henson is good at, besides dancing and acting, it's keeping his relationships and love life away from the public. At 52, there's no way Darren Henson hasn't gotten involved with someone at one point or the other, so you've just got to wonder how he manages to keep all those exes hidden. The talented actor is currently blessed with four kids, but he doesn't appear to be in a relationship with anyone. On the flip side, you might be able to learn more about Darren Henson after sneaking a peek at one of his books. And yes, that's right. Darren Henson is an author, a prolific one at that. What inspired you to write this book? Did you have a moment when you thought to yourself, I need to share all that I've learned over the course of my life and career? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I believe the giver's hands are never empty. Okay. And I wanted to be able to give opportunity to people uh, to develop their own life and, and strategies for their own life. Uh, and to me, that's important. I speak to my fans all the time, and I enjoy doing so. And I wanted to be able to have a communication with them by having the book out. He and has written three books so far, and he sounds pretty enthusiastic about writing another. Each book allows you to have a better understanding of Henson behind the camera while providing tips on how to succeed in diverse fields. What are your thoughts on Darren DeWitt Henson and his sporadic rise to fame?